Hello everyone, Daniel here. So, me and Dylan went out to film this video about the story of the 707s. However, just about everything that could go wrong, did go wrong. So, to find out what happened to us and to the class 707s, stay tuned. Let's go! Hello everyone, we are the TFL3, Daniel and Dylan here. And today, we are at Waterloo International, <laughs> and we are going to ride a 707! Hey! Look, 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 show everyone! This is a 707. These trains are relatively new, they're part of the uh, Zero City family of trains. Um, seen also on Thames Link, they have class 700s, which are very, very similar to these. Um, so, but these trains are going at the South Western Railway, meeting with tomorrow. But why? A bit of backstory is necessary to explain this. The old operator of the South Western Railway franchise, uh, which was called South West Trains at the time, was Stagecoach, and they decided that the South Western they needed more trains to increase capacity essentially. So these trains were bought as capacity boosters, not as a fleet replacement. But then the new operator, the South Western Railway, owned by First Group of MTR, decided that capacity boosting wasn't enough. They actually needed to replace all of their suburban fleets, uh, which is why we commissioned the development of a brand new train called the Class 701, which is part of the Avenger family of trains also seen by Elizabeth Line. Which means these trains are going to be eventually surplus to requirements. But you can't get rid of a brand new train. So where are they going? And now it's time to get a South Eastern Class 707 known as City Beam. Hopefully one will turn up soon and not another dreaded 465. Never mind, it's another networker. We have been waiting an obscenely long time for a City Beam 707, but we keep getting networkered. Networking, networking, networking. Also, the occasional Electro Star just to rub in our misery. More networkers and an Electro Star. We have waited over 40 minutes for, an, for a city beam and there haven't been any. It's been seen about 20 networkers. So of course on my way home, South East had given me a city beam after 40 minutes of waiting at Waterloo East earlier and no city beam arriving. My train home happens to be one. Okay, let's look around. Uh, they've kept the uh, orange poles, which SWR had. Um, three by two seating. Uh, you can see I've just been slammed into the priority seat. Lots of real chair space. These are fantastic trains. So what South, East, South Western Railway doesn't want, what they don't want, we get in the South East. Typical. These are amazing trains, these are unironically amazing trains, so not complaining. And I'm certainly not complaining that we are getting more of them because South Western Railway are getting rid of the last of theirs tomorrow. Since South Western Railway decided that they didn't want these 707s anymore, they sent them here to South Eastern where they've been rebranded as City Beams and they are operating as capacity boosters and also in the future will hopefully replace the old 465s. Thank you all for watching, and if you've ever been on a 707 before for either SWR or Southeastern, do let us know your thoughts in the comments below. I will see you in the next one.